What's your TMJ pain threshold? Temporomandibular joint dysfunction. Because TMJ, temporomandibular joint dysfunction, is so painful, many people suffering TMJ end up being diagnosed with fibromyalgia. Sometimes fibromyalgia does coexist with TMJ, but sometimes it's a misdiagnosis. In response to the overlap of these conditions, a team of American researchers decided to find out whether fibromyalgia increases the vulnerability of TMJ sufferers to pain and whether it changes the way their brains process pain. They were also wondering whether those who ended up developing fibromyalgia had more sensitivity to pain than other TMJ patients. In their study, they measured their pain sensitivity after repeated applications of heat, and the duration of the pain they experienced after applications of heat. Contrary to what they expected, all participants showed approximately the same pain threshold, suggesting that TMJ and fibromyalgia did not increase their participants' sensitivity to pain. However, all TMJ patients, those with and without fibromyalgia, said that the pain persisted for a long time after the application, something the healthy volunteers did not experience. To the researchers, the suggested that that the pain processing mechanisms in the brains of both TMJ and fibromyalgia sufferers had been altered, which is a condition called central pain sensitization. Fortunately, there is an easy way to cure TMJ permanently. All it takes is a set of simple exercises that loosen up and strengthen the muscles around the jaw. And fibromyalgia is not a life sentence. It's actually all about one free ingredient your body is lacking. Learn the details here. Click below for more information now.